Welcome to the Healing Light Service. I'm Rev. Linda Ringel, and this service is a meditative opportunity for you to go into a deep and powerful healing and revealing experience. Regardless of what might be on your heart and your mind at this time, individually or collectively or even globally, whether it be physical or emotional or mental or spiritual, this is a time of restorative and creative meditation. In this particular time, one of releasing and receiving. The order of service is such that we'll begin with prayer, followed by a beautiful piece of music to take us in to that place of the consciousness of the healing power of releasing and receiving. And we'll stay in silent meditation for a time, just hearing a few occasional affirmations. And then we'll go into a guided meditation, which I have personally used with great success over the last six years of my cancer journey with a stage four lung diagnosis. And then we'll finish the guided meditation and go into our closing prayer. If you've attended the Healing Light Service at Mile High in person, the elements of the service will be familiar to you, the prayer and the music and the beautiful candles. However, we have reimagined for this digital format the healing guides and the energy core, and just know that they are with you as well. They are here to serve and to support you, to uplift you with their deep consciousness of healing. They are surrounding and uplifting you now. So please, along with me, just settle in. Fall into your heart space and begin breathing that breath of God, allowing it to go out and to come back in very naturally, releasing the old breath and receiving the generously given new one, letting your shoulders drop and your low belly relax in a comfortable way, knowing that the eternal truth of you is that you are one with the creator of all the universe of universes, one with that life force that is active now in your body as your breath and as your heartbeat, and knowing that this unconditional love is the very truth of you, and that the creative ultimate presence is so potent and so powerful, there's nothing too great for it to address and to heal. For nothing you've ever done or thought or said or looked at can keep you from journeying right back to your true essence. It is as close as your next breath. For nothing in this human lifetime can ever distance you or dis-ease you, or discount the truth of you, that you are made of love intelligence. It pervades every cell, tissue, and fiber of your being. And so the recommendation is, for this meditative experience, that you simply release and receive, releasing any sense of cares or concerns, releasing the human estimation of what is going on, releasing and then freely receiving that gift of high consciousness, relieving the, receiving the love and the generosity that flows freely from spirit. So we move ourselves now into a place of standing in a healed space the wholeness of the divine expressing through each one of us as we pray. Oh yes, there is one power and one presence, that creative ultimate reality in which we live, move, and have our being. In this moment, we are inhaling availability we are exhaling limitation. We become very present and we tune in 
to the essence of life itself, acknowledging the movement of that life through us, in us, and as us. We know that the one life, that beautiful, unconditional divine love, that all-originating essence of life, is pouring forth now into us and expressing back out as us. We know this divine spirit dwells now and always within us as heart and soul, and how good it is to sense this omnipresent reality existing here and everywhere, everywhere in every atom and molecule and energetic wave of being that saturate us in this field of all possibility. Oh, thanksgiving for the richness of the divine as it generously gives an equal portion to all of us. In great gratitude for that and releasing it now into that wonder-working power that does truly miraculous things, we simply say together as we go into meditation, and so it is. In the silence there is peace In the silence there is unspoken joy In the silence there is chaos and noise so I wait for these precious moments when I hear all that could never be said and right here in this whole silence I find God I find myself in the silence there is peace In the silence there is unspoken joy In the silence there's release From a world full of chaos and noise So I wait for these precious moments when I hear that could never be said and right here in this holy silence I find God I find silence there is peace in the silence there is unspoken joy in the silence there's relief from a world full of chaos and noise so I precious moments when I hear all that could never be said and right here in this holy silence I find God I find God I find
I am loved and all is well. I am healed and all is well. I release and receive and all is well. I am guided and all is well.
I am loved and all is well. I release and receive and all is well. I am guided and all is well.
as we move now into our time of guided meditation, I invite you to visualize a beautiful tropical place, a lush landscape which is verdant and beautiful, just teeming with life. And you see yourself there. You can feel it. As you're walking along, you see a pathway. The pathway is descending downward. You follow this path as as if it's beckoning to you. The path has a couple of switchbacks on it as you descend into a small valley. The valley is revealing more and more of its beauty as you descend. You hear the birds chirping. You can see the butterflies flitting around you. And you can feel the warmth of the air and also the gentle sunlight on your shoulders. You even hear a waterfall in the distance. You continue to wind your way down, down, until you reach the floor of this small valley. And you're near that stream that runs through the valley floor. You walk on peacefully into what reveals itself to be a beautiful canyon wall with a waterfall cascading over it. This beautiful waterfall shines and sparkles in the light as the water cascades over a ridge which is about six or feet overhead. Oh, this is such a beautiful and peaceful waterfall. As you gaze upon the sight, you become aware that you are not alone. You feel the presence, a presence of no particular form, but one of light and unconditional acceptance and love. And you know it is safe here, safe in this sacred place alongside this special waterfall. And this being of light, this presence of light, shares with you that you are invited to immerse yourself twice in this amazing waterfall. The first time you hold your head under the waterfall, it will be for the purpose of releasing, once and for all, anything and everything that is not a part of your journey going forward. You will release any and everything does the, that does not serve the furtherance of the love story of your soul. So you stand just in front of the waterfall and you are asked to consider, what shall I finally and fully release? What shall I finally and fully release? An intuitive knowing comes forth for you. And with this clarity, you gently move your head and shoulders into the waterfall. You not only feel the water cascading over your head and shoulders, but you feel that water is pouring through your body as though you're porous to it, and it is washing away all that you have let go of, never more to be a part of you. You feel this water flowing through you, cleansing and washing away anything not serving that evolutionary path of your soul's love story. And as you move back out of the waterfall, you feel a new sense of freedom and a lightness, a spaciousness within you. Oh, it feels so heightened. It feels so much more expansive. And now you're asked to consider the second immersion This immersion is for the receiving of gifts. 
the receiving of gifts of the Spirit, the manifestation of all the good that is waiting for you. And you are asked another question. Do you choose this experience? If your answer is yes, you then hear the question come forward. What am I now wholeheartedly ready to receive? What am I now wholeheartedly ready to receive? What people, what personalities, what perspectives are you ready for? Once again, intuitive information comes forward for you, comes up from that deep, still, brilliant place. And with this clarity, you once again move your head and shoulders into that cascade of falling water. Oh, and once again, you feel that water and you are so open to receiving its generous gifts. Oh, how glorious it is to receive freely and fully. And then you slowly lean back out of the waterfall, pausing to feel that full essence of the divine right there in your heart center as it gives rise to clarity and harmony, to peace and joy. And again, you become physically aware of the air around you, the gentle sunlight on your shoulders, the breeze that's blowing through the greenery. You become aware of the birds singing their song of freedom and lightness. There is even an amazing blue monarch right in front of you as if blessing you on your new path forward. You make your way out of the little stream and onto the shore, and you depart this magical place now, wending your way with peace, with deep serenity, a sense of being truly, deeply united at the essence of you, with the beauty of all of life around you. You make your way back up the trail until you reach the top of it. And then you take one last look, gazing down at that beautiful scene, thanking it, feeling deeply grateful for all that you've received from the divine. And now, my dearly beloveds, it's time to return to your body temple to your breath flowing in and out, in and out, releasing the old and receiving the new, releasing what didn't serve and basking in what now does. Let us take this into our sacred heart of hearts, and fall into that heart space for prayer. And I offer profound thanksgiving for this time we have spent together, for the presence of all gathered here energetically, for our revitalization and our upliftment, for the rejuvenation of ourselves physically and emotionally, mentally, relationally, and most certainly spiritually. For we are the wholeness of spirit. And we go forth now with lightness, lit from within, knowing that divine light is the truth of us, that each one of us is a living light as we go forward in love and in compassion, living out the beautiful, beautiful, love stories of our souls. Amen.
Amen. Amen. And now if you feel that you would like continued prayer support, please just go on this website to the place marked milehighchurch.org slash prayer. And you can make your prayer request there and know that it will be prayed over, held up high by our prayer partner practitioners for the week forthcoming. Also know there are many ways to give to Mile High Church and its many programs, such as the Healing Ministry. And you can do that on this same website, milehighchurch.org, as well. And we thank you in advance for your generosity. Our sending forth will be a beautiful song by Karen Drucker. And it is called, I Am So Blessed. Be well and blessings. Karen Drucker here, coming to you from San Francisco, where I'm in my husband's studio with all his guitars here behind me. And I'm going to play you a few songs that I hope, well, a little, little chance here for you. That maybe you'll sing along with me, and I hope it'll help your heart this morning. I am so blessed. That's what we got to remember, huh? I am so blessed. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for all that I have. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful. Yes, I am so blessed. That's the whole thing. Sing it now. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. So grateful. I am so grateful for all that I have. For all that I I am so blessed, I am so blessed, I am so grateful, I am so blessed. Sing it again. I am so blessed, I am so blessed, grateful, I am so grateful for all that I have. I am so I am so grateful. 